<laughs> okay. Um, so have you checked out TikTok at all? Yes. I okay. enjoy the TikTok from time to time. So I, we might be on different TikToks. So I want to introduce you to my lane of TikTok. Oh, no. Um, so I'm going to warm you up with one. We're both emo kids. So yes, this correct. one should kind of be a warm up for both of us. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. Okay. Question for the emo kids out there, but how many absolute baller covers of Taylor Swift songs do there need to be before we recognize T Swift as one of the greatest songwriters in emo history? Just a thought. <laughs> I mean, I I champion Taylor Swift. So <laughs> I, I, I agree. have not I have not gotten to that point yet where it's like, okay, I love her. But obviously just as a music business She's the queen of the music industry, so more power to her. I'm just glad it's a woman. Oh, yeah. I, I wrote a paper on, paper on her in college. Did you? So I know too much about Taylor Swift. Okay. I, can, I hope one day they make a document, like a, another documentary on Taylor Swift. They did, uh, but with, like, people who studied her, you know, yeah. talking yeah. about her. I hope I can make that documentary. I hope so, too. I think it's neat. I, her folklore album. I thought that was a really smart move artistically. Oh, yeah. I thought no, that was really nice. And I have no problems with the T-Swift. Whatever. Do you have a cat? Taylor Swift has cats. Uh, um, I don't have any pets. I must admit, with the quarantine stuff this year, I really wanted a pet. Could I see you as like a cat person? Oh. Which I like cats too. There's a moment I thought I was going to get a cat. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. But also, I found another cat, which I want to know your opinions on. Okay. This is a video. Oh, okay. I wanted to watch Tangled. I wanted to watch Tangled today. But once I got out Disney Plus and put my laptop down, uh, this little man here decided to start screaming at me until I turned on Aristocats. This is the seventh time he has watched Aristocats. He watched it two times yesterday. He gets upset when the movie pauses or glitches or ends. Any vets want to like, any vets or like cat experts want to do at this and tell me why he likes Aristocats so much. Can he understand it? Does he get that there are cats on the screen? Does he like the colors? Why does my cat like Aristocats so much? Gatsby, why do you like this movie so much? I'm, I'm so, he doesn't do this with any other TV show or movie, like just this one. And he will, at, he will like yell at me to turn it on. Why does he like it so much? Yeah. He knows. I'm just, I just like the idea. I just remember when me and my brother were kids, we, we were with my aunt and she had two dogs and she, we played Oliver and Company, I believe was the movie. And we thought the dogs would like it because it was dogs on screen. Yeah. I don't think they cared too much. So just the idea of like animals enjoying. It's oh, weird. My, my friend's dog, uh, they, uh, they have two dogs, you know, like sometimes dogs don't like being loners and like yeah. they, they need, this is like need one of those buddy. dogs, but like loves humans like too much. And so, like, she was, like, gung-ho, like, staring at, like, a movie about... I can't remember what movie it was, but it was definitely animals. I would say it's something like Milo and Otis or something like that. It yeah. would just, like, stare at the TV, like, <laughs> vigilantly. And it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Uh, do you like movies? Yes. Okay. I'm very much so. I'm kind of a... I feel like I'm a little bit of a film person. Okay. I want to know your opinions on this film. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, TikTok, this is what your favorite movie uh, says about you. Uh, if your favorite movie was the Ronald McDonald's Wacky Adventures VHS tape uh, that they gave out at McDonald's <laughs> in, uh, like, 2003, um, you might, uh, you cool, I guess. So, yeah, I've never I, heard of that. I don't know if I've ever watched the time travel episode, but, yeah, I've watched a couple of those. I haven't heard of that. I just remember, like, toys. Like, I remember, like, getting toys in your Happy Meal. That's all I know. Oh, I remember VHS. Videos? Yeah. You know, I think back, some parents made sure they monitor what their kids watched on, like, TV. My parents didn't. Because um, I think I watched stuff like that, and I think that's the reason why they didn't monitor. <laughs> like, we were a multi-TV house. <laughs> 
Anyways, I, I do see one. I have a strong opinion. I found a TikTok. I just want to know your opinion on that. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot be the only one who has realized that all racists look like they smell like hot dog water. And when I say all of them, I mean all of them. First of all, I can't with that accent. Yeah, the Is New that Jersey. Real? I probably. I have friends from New Jersey don't talk like that. Eh, well, it happens. I don't know. I, I, I'm just... Obviously, I'm anti-racist, obviously. But they I do just, smell like hot dog water. Like, I oh, feel okay. like we can all agree on that. I mean, and, and yeah, TikTok is TikTok. You got to laugh at stuff. But on a serious note, I'm like, all of that, all the little, like, bite-sized media about a racist and all this, it's like, I'm not sure how much that's helping. Tell me about this talk. Do women do this in the bathroom? Dang it. Hey, dude, can you hand me some toilet paper? Yeah, sure. Yes. Give me one second. All right, thanks. All right. There you go, buddy. So, yeah, I mean, us guys, like, if we need toilet paper, we just crawl under the stall. That was very <laughs> funny. Obviously, women wouldn't literally do that, but I have in many situations, like, oh, can I have some toilet paper? And you would help help a girl out. But, like, no, no one's going to crawl under the bathroom <laughs> That's, that's what I mean. That's what guys do. We need toilet paper. <laughs> you ever notice how like you have to make compromises sometimes? Yes. Okay. Well, one uh, here's a compromise I figured out. I saw someone make have to make, and I think it's actually like actually makes a lot of sense if, if I do <laughs> say so myself. My mom said I can't eat Dino Nuggies anymore. She said I need to grow up. That's fine, mom. No more Dino Nuggies. No more grandma's ashes. <laughs> I mean, that's a, I mean, it's fair. No more dime nuggies, it's no more grandma's just, ashes. It's a very specific kind. Like, there's just different kinds of humor. You have to. That's good. I think I figured out. I saw someone. I think they figured out how to solve 2020. Okay. Uh, this might just be me, but I feel like the only thing that can, like, legitimately save 2020 right now is if LMFAO creates a new party rock anthem. Because I just don't <laughs> feel like a party rocker right now, and I really need that. <laughs> I think, I mean... Shut up! That guy reminds me of my ex. Oh, I mean... Just advocating for party, Advocating for party rock, too? I don't know, just, like... Ugh, that guy was cringy. But uh, have you ever had an interaction like this? I just want to. I want to see here. Let's see. Hello, how are you today? Please do not talk to me until I have my milk and butter. Excuse me, sir. Um, you might be a bitch, but you get a pretty fat ass. What? <laughs> Has that ever happened? That's happened to me before, but. Wait, what did the second guy say? You may be a bitch, but you got a pretty fat ass. Oh, stupid. You know, they released... Actually, no. I want to I show you this. Um, tell me if this has ever happened to you. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Yeah, sex is cool, but have you guys ever took a fat poop and then you go to wipe and then there's nothing to wipe? And you're like, oh my God, it was a ghost poop. Oh, I don't know. I love that shit. That... That really, when that happens to me, it, like, makes my whole entire day. I don't know. Okay. That's the part that I'm talking about. This is the kind of content we're digesting. This can't be good for our, for <laughs> our brain. Isn't our generation like, having kids right now? <laughs> like, no, seriously. that That's the part. It's like taking every little thing that you experience and having to make a video about it, having to document it. it, it it's, it's sick. It's an addiction. Mm -hmm. I want to play this game then, uh, a little game of Smash or Pass. Do you know the rules of that game? No. All right, so Smash or Pass is kind of simple. Like, would you go out with this person? The simple way was, would you go out with this person or would you pass on them, like okay. not go out with them? Here we go. So, so, I don't know this guy's name, but I just want you to see here. <laughs> Ma, 
my head is finally clear. Thanks to you two, I managed to get the other voice out of my head. You oh. thought defeating him, defeating me would release Ryuki 3? <laughs> the Shocker Empire had a failsafe for that. Instead of me going, it was him that went. And now, you won't ever get Drive 3's memories back. Because he was the only one who knew how to restore them. You poor, poor, insolent fools. You'll never, ever get rid of me. For I am a god. What a geek. That guy's pretty cool, I think. Pass. No. Oh, you you have to be a solid pass? The fedora. I, I didn't need to hear him speak. The f- <laughs> he just, he just stood up with the fedora. Seven called. I don't know if I have any other Smasher passes, so I think that might be the only one. So that's a solid. That's only one? That's not oh, wait, a no. game. Don't, I, don't I found another. So- I found another. Okay. See, you know how like, it's a really attractive when guys play devil's advocate? I really hope this is. Okay, let's see. Yeah, uh, just playing devil's advocate, uh, technically breast milk isn't unhealthy for adults. <laughs> I mean, he has a point. Man, that's a smash. <laughs> smash, that's okay. Funny. I, I'd, I'd say that too, yeah. All right, here's, that, I think. That's funny. Like, I did, that's funny. I did find a third. So okay, here we go. Tell me about this guy. You purchased Cars Two. Yes. Fifteen dollars. Why the hell did you buy? <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, he he bought Cars Two. That's cute. That's that's kind of cute. You smash like that. that. But it's like fifteen dollars he spent. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, yeah, I would. It's Ernest. So in my list of things, this looks like my last guy. So okay, tell, me, tell me if we're going to smash or pass. Okay. Okay, this is a formal request. Do not ask me one more time if I'm straight, gay, or whatever. I identify as a fucking threat. That wasn't so, funny. I mean, he identifies as a threat. No, that wasn't funny. That was so a pass. You, that's a pass. Okay. That wasn't so funny. We got like two pass, two smashed, one two pass. I don't think it's pretty. The even. breast milk thing was very funny. I'm going <laughs> by. Is this making me laugh or not? True, because it's like if you're going to be around someone for the rest of your life, like if they're funny, it's it kind of works out. I have found one more smasher pass. Yay! In my contrap- Um This guy is a big fan of Spider Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, hopefully you okay. like that. Points. Points. Here we go. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Dead at ever a spider can. <laughs> so, who would you put him in? Wait, what was... What was he wear? Was he wearing? I don't know what he was wearing. He might not have been wearing anything. To, like to be honest, I I loved how bizarre that was. So that's a smash. I think so. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You just watched a highlight from the Schwedcast, the internet's worst podcast. Did you like what you just watched? Well, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and over here, you can check out more episodes and clips just like that. And like always, stay awesome.